Here in the Pacific Northwest, our two greatest challenges are the urban areas, especially in the Seattle area, and the large geographical wilderness of the Alaska Arctic. We're addressing those challenges in very unique and creative ways. One of the things that we are discovering is that in this unchurched environment of the Northwest, public meetings have limited appeal to other than to certain segments of the population. And so we're finding ways to get more people involved and to reach into more homes in a personal way. So we have developed and are planning to have on the campus of Walla Walla University a training program for Bible worker coordinators. And we have a goal that every single church will have a person in that church or church district that's there for the purpose of training people to be Bible workers. We want an army of church members who are doing door-to-door -door work, uh, are sharing the Bible one-on-one -on -one with their neighbors. We've set a date that this Institute of Missions will begin at Walla Walla University in spring of 2012. One of our conferences was so enthused about this whole project that they couldn't wait and so they already have trained 43 individuals who are on the job in the churches and having great results. I was just at camp meeting in Upper Columbia and the testimonies that were given were just great. I'm positive this program is going to be successful because the pilot project has been so successful. And we're excited because it opens doors of opportunity of new ways of reaching unchurched people in our city. Our other gigantic mission field is huge in a different way, and that is the Arctic region in Alaska. This is one big place. Unbelievable. Alaska is the largest state. I can't believe the vastness of this part of our country. 230 Arctic villages and only 10 of them have been entered by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. You know, the work isn't going to be finished anywhere until it's finished everywhere, and that includes these Arctic villages. There is absolutely no presence of our Adventist Church. Something has to be done. We need a plan. These are great people. These people have lived here for centuries. Because these villages are so remote, they're very closed societies, and it's very difficult to enter those villages unless we have some way to, to uh, reach into the village itself. I've never heard of the Seventh-day Adventist Church because the village where I was born and raised, we don't have a Seventh-day Adventist Church. Without anybody here, nothing happens. We've got about 3,800 members in all of Alaska, about 2,000 active members in the whole state. And most of those members are concentrated in the area where we've got half of our population. Over 50% of our population are in the Anchorage area, the Anchorage Bowl area. And so the rest of it is very vast, very remote, and those are the areas that are very difficult to reach. We can't even drive to our churches here in this part of Alaska. We are thousands of miles from one end of this part of the region to the other part of the region. There are so many people in the outreaches of the villages that don't even know the gospel yet. This is the Arctic. We're just a few miles from Russia, Siberia. We're in Gamble, Alaska, and Mike and I have moved up here to work with the children, give them a safe place to be, and most of the people are unemployed. They live on subsistence hunting and fishing. I'm working a lot with the younger kids because as they grow older, they are at risk. Suicide is a very big problem in the villages. The earlier you start to give them confidence and, and love, the better off they are later. You can help us enter these villages. We'd like to see a radio station in every village in the whole of Alaska. It's not that expensive. For less than $1,000, we can put an FM station in a, in a, a local village. A, a computer and it has a small FM uh, transmitter. And what we're doing is we load a certain amount of media onto a hard drive and then we play it out over a period of time. We want to make sure that there's a voice heard through radio, through mass mailings, 
anything that can be done to make sure that there's an opportunity for these native people to know Jesus and to be prepared for his soon return. Just contact us. Go to the Alaska website, alaskaconference.org, and there you'll find additional information. Whatever way that you want to help, we would be very thankful.